Michael J. Fox shares heart-wrenching updates on his 30-year struggle with Parkinson's. Hi there. Thank you for your interest in Michael J. Fox's latest update on his 30-year struggle with Parkinson's disease. In this video, I will share with you some of the highlights from his recent interview with CBS Sunday Morning, as well as some of the latest developments in Parkinson's research and treatment. Michael J. Fox is a beloved Canadian actor who rose to fame with his roles in Family Ties, Back to the Future, and Spin City. He was diagnosed with young-onset Parkinson's disease in 1991 when he was only 29 years old. Parkinson's is a progressive and debilitating disorder that causes uncontrollable jerks and twists, shaking, slurred speech, and difficulty with balance and coordination, among other things. The disease progresses as nerve cells in the brain weaken or die. Fox did not publicly disclose his condition for several years until he noticed that his symptoms were affecting his performance on screen. He then became an outspoken advocate for Parkinson's research and awareness, launching the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research in 2000. The foundation has raised over $2 billion to fund groundbreaking studies and trials to find a cure for the disease. In his interview with Jane Pauley, Fox opened up about how his condition has worsened over time and how he has faced several challenges and injuries due to his disease. He said that he has had surgery for a benign tumor on his spine, which affected his walking, and that he has broken several bones from falling, including his face and his hand. He also said that he is less steady on his feet, and that he struggles with swallowing and speaking. Fox also spoke about his own mortality, saying that he does not expect to live until 80. He said that falling, aspirating food, and pneumonia are some of the risks that people with Parkinson's face. He said that people do not die from Parkinson's, but they die with Parkinson's. However, Fox also expressed his gratitude and optimism, saying that he has a certain set of skills that allow him to deal with his situation, and that he always finds something to look forward to. He said that he is proud of his foundation's work, which has supported some of the most ambitious research in the field. For example, in April 2023, researchers announced a major breakthrough in identifying forms of a protein and a testing method that can be used to diagnose Parkinson's much earlier and reduce the number of people who are wrongly diagnosed with the disease. The research stems from the Foundation's Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, which for more than a decade has followed more than 1,100 volunteers with and without the disease. Another promising development is the use of stem cells to create dopamine-producing neurons that can be surgically implanted into the brain of people with Parkinson's. This could potentially restore their motor function and reduce their dependence on medication. Several clinical trials are underway to test the safety and efficacy of this approach. Fox also talked about his new documentary Still, which will be released on May 12. The documentary follows Fox as he reflects on his life, career, family, and activism. It also features interviews with his friends and colleagues such as Robert Zemeckis, Christopher Lloyd, Tracy Pollan, Dennis Leary, and others. The documentary also shows some of the challenges that Fox faces on a daily basis such as stumbling and falling on a New York City sidewalk. However, it also shows his resilience and humor as he jokes about his situation and makes light of it. Fox said that he hopes that his documentary will inspire people to live in the present and appreciate what they have. He said that he does not regret anything in his life and that he is still learning and growing. I hope you enjoyed this video about Michael J. Fox's latest update on his 30-year struggle with Parkinson's disease. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description below for more information about Fox's interview, documentary, foundation, and research. Thank you for watching and see you next time.